Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration, January 1st, 2024. It's a new year, a new beginning, new chapter. And as we journey through this new year, I pray that God will continue to pour out his blessings on us. And I pray that you and your family will draw nearer to him as he draw nears to you. Our reading this morning comes to us from Philippians chapter 3, reading verses 13 to 15. It says, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Verse 14 says, I press towards the mark for the prize of the eye calling of God in Christ Jesus. 15 and last says, Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded, and if in anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. And I say, Amen. Indeed, God has been good to us. God has taken us through 2023. We had some bumps along the way. We had some mountains we had to climb, some valleys we had to walk through. But God, in his wisdom, in his mercy, and in his love, take us through those different situation and we are here this morning to magnify the name of Jesus because he is worthy to be praised we had some hopes we had some dreams in 2023 we had some goals that we wanted to reach some of those goals we were able to accomplish some we were not able to accomplish but as we look forward to this new year, as we start this new year, may the God of 2023 give us wisdom and grace and strength and help us as we pursue those goals or continue to pursue those goals. I pray that he will guide us and that we will allow him to guide us. And I just want to encourage someone this morning that whatever it is that you might may have failed to accomplish in 2023, do not be discouraged. This is a new chapter, a new beginning, and you can new make a new start. And you can continue with the wisdom of God and the grace of God to pursue those goals it says that what we may not be perfect yet but the Bible says that we should strive for that perfection in Christ right we are encouraged that we should keep on pressing pressing towards the mark of the prize of that I call in we know what prize in, is in store for us. God said that he has gone to prepare a place for us. And that if he, is, he has gone to prepare a place for us, that he will come again and receive us unto himself. Right? And so we live in a world that is full of discouragement. But in spite of all the discouragement that exists in this world, we can still see hope because of God that live in us. So, may we remain steadfast. May we keep on moving forward. 
may we keep on trusting in God because God has never failed us yet and he will never fail us. He said in his word that not one word will return unto him void. So whatever he says, it will and shall come to pass. So, claim to the promises. Cling to Jesus. And I pray that as you continue to remain faithful, that God will continue to pour his spirit upon you and give you peace and life everlasting. God bless you. God bless your families and enjoy the rest of the year, the rest of the day, and the rest of your life. Amen. <music>